support us on Patreon to get access to member-exclusive benefits and first dibs on the latest Manchester United news. Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio, and it is that man again, Bruno Fernandes. There's a little bit of, a little bit of interesting developments, but before we get into talking about Bruno Fernandes, if you're new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter at WeUnitedX and smash that notification button for the latest Manchester United news. So let's basically get into it. So obviously it's Oli Talks Bruno Fernandes. So just to mention development here because essentially Solskjaer's had his press conference obviously for the Norwich game that's coming up this weekend, 3 o'clock kickoff. And he was asked um, in the press conference about Bruno Fernandes. Now, there's been speculation this um, from the Portuguese press that both Phelan and Solskjaer um, were in Portugal watching Sporting's 2-1 um, home defeat to Porto um, on Sunday and that they were in attendance there. Um, it's, I'd suggest that Solskjaer basically travelled to Lisbon um, and, you know, just to obviously essentially scout him again, which is interesting because we, we, we supposedly scouted him um uh, last summer, um, uh, Rojo, which is the or Rojo, which is the uh, one of the Portuguese outlets, has actually even said today actually that Manchester United are considering a sixty million bid for Bruno Fernandes. In discussion about that, but that's neither here nor there. But it's just interesting that um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer looks at the comments, but he essentially he says he doesn't deny it. He essentially says we we um, he says it's speculation um, that we go back to speculating and, and we watch games all the time. Solskjaer said. Um, he also suggested, which is a bit concerning, in that that the potentially there might not be that many incomings or outgoings in the January transfer window, looking somewhat upset. Um, but at the same time, he did not necessarily deny. I mean, he could have easily said, I wasn't in Portugal, I wasn't there, I wasn't watching players. So he didn't outright deny that fact, So, which I think is quite interesting. Um, we obviously know, as most Manchester fans would know, that we need to sign a midfielder. We need to sign two midfielders, frankly. Um at least in the January transfer window, and it's the 10th. We have 21 days, so potentially three weeks to basically make at least two signings. Um, and there's no word of, word of anyone, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed here. It's it's a small glimmer of hope. Um, uh, it's a small glimmer of hope that possibly we might be in from in January. It is 60 million, you know, 60 million that we can part away with, especially if Ash Young is going to leave. Um, but yeah, do I think it's going to happen? Um, I'm not optimistic, if I'm honest, guys. I'm really, really, really not optimistic at all. Um, so, But at this point, as a Manchester United fan, you know, all we can do is hope, frankly. All we can do is hope. Uh, thanks, everyone, for uh, for listening in, guys. Um, if you're new to the channel, once again, please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, we United X, and smash that notification button for latest Manchester United news. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.